Hello guys, I'm Mr. Addicted here and today I'm going to teach you how to build this beautiful house that I just made up on the spot. Yeah, so uh, hopefully you guys like it. I'll just show you quickly around it. Um, I've left it bare on the inside. This is, it's got a pool and stuff like that. So you guys can add your little touch to it, you know. So outside it's just got some deck chairs and stuff. I just think it looks quite nice. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. If you do, make sure you slap that like button and subscribe. So let's get on with the tutorial. Boom. Right guys, let's build this modern house. Right, so what you need to do is count one, two, and then we're gonna put this up by six. Like this, so it's one, two, three, four, five, that's five, and then six. And we put it all the way down like that, so it looks like that. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fill in the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, like that. And I'm gonna have to turn my TV down so it doesn't come through for you guys, there we go. And so we put a space here, space here, and then we put a space here. So we put it all the way up to the top and then we put it across like this and we're just joining it up like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some black panes so we get our black panes now. I just think the black panes look a bit better than, you know, the normal ones, especially for modern. I think it looks really good. So uh, now what we need to do is we're going to double this up. So we'll double this up here like that. I think on this side we can even put it up a third like that. I think that would look quite good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to leave two spaces so we can obviously fill these in and then we put this all the way to the top like this. And we're going to have a balcony on the top here so I mean we could do the balcony so we have it like this. So we've got stairs going all the way across like this and then we put this out one, two, three like this. So we just fill all this in. I'll do it every, this, every step of the way with you guys so just remember you can pause at any time so if it does go too quick you can just hit that pause button. So we'll fill all this in with the black paints. So it should look like that. So it's looking kind of nice so far, but it's not complete yet. It needs so much more. So what we need to do now is we're gonna do this from the top. So we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then we're gonna join, uh, in fact, we'll do it 14. 13's an unlucky number. We don't need that. We don't need 13 in our lives. Well, that's if you're superstitious. I'm not very superstitious, but for people who are, I'm respecting that, you know? So we get it on here. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna pull these down, just like that. And we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side. So we pull it down like that. So I'm just making this up as I go along. So hopefully this will turn out great, which it obviously will be if you guys are clicking on it and you think this is worth building. So what we're gonna do, now is go one two so we'll count one two like that and then we're going to put this up like that this is going to be the door space so we're going to put two across like that we're going to have a window that's here what we can do here for the window here we can do that we can do this as well we can actually put the stairs here as well just so it gives it more in groove is that a real word i don't know and then we can put our glass in and then we can i kind of like the doors to go this way do you know so the outside it's more prosthetically pleasing as one would say. So now what we do is we get our spruce, we put it all the way to the top and we count, counting from this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we put it all the way down. And we're just gonna fill this in. We're gonna bring this all the way to the back so it touches with this. So it's not identically on, so we've still got that kind of like, we've got definition and um, it doesn't like match up with it and look quite bad. So now we fill all this in. We're gonna have this filled in, this filled in, and we're gonna have like little window slots here and stuff. So for here, what we want to do is we're gonna count one, two like that, and we're gonna fill this up, and we're gonna have two windows here. We're gonna obviously, I think what we should do is get some of this spruce here, and I think it's quite good to just put them in like this and like this. I kinda like to make my houses look cool from the outside rather than the inside, because the inside, you can use more of this for, you know, like space for using it with um, like item frames and stuff like that. And obviously this bit would get in the way of that. So now for this bit, what we want to do is we want to put our, we want to get our stairs. So we get our stairs and we put it all the way along like this. And then we get another, we get it all the way along. So we're just getting some like depth of, um, into our builds, you know, so it's not just like a flat wall. Flat walls are boring. Why would you do it? So we do it all the way down like this and then we put the stair this way so it's just got the one groove like that. I mean even if you wanted to you could make sure that it's identical one two three one two three there 
and then what you can do is put a block to replace for each one and put a window there it's just something extra that you might want to add in that might make it look quite cool so we put this all the way to the top we're going to fill all these in get these all filled up like that so for the top what i'm wanting to do is we're going to get our stone slab and we're going to run it all the way across and then um, also to fill in the, the the bigger bits and stuff like that what i tend to do is i'd usually get the portion of swiftness so obviously in your, if you're in creative wouldn't work so much if you're in uh, survival but creative you can get it you know bossed out and you can get it done real quick so now what we want to do see where we've done this in groove here we can pull this out and now we can have like a little balcony here so we can pull it up to there and do this so get this all the way along why is that going over there also I've got a broken control so it kind of has a mind of its own for some reason all right so we get this we're gonna have a stair there and we're gonna have another stair like that and then for this one we're just gonna put a plain block like that and it just it has a nice little balcony sort of like this would be holding it up kind of thing we can add an extra stair there and stuff like that it's just all preference so you can have it this way just whichever way you like because you could have a plant pot on there you could even bring it down like this it's just all personal preference to you guys but I'm just gonna leave it plain for the time being right so for now what I'm wanting to do is take this because we've got this little lip um, lip here it kind of looks bare so we're gonna pull it around like that so that'd be part of the balcony that's at the top so let's have a look around here we're gonna fill this up we're gonna have some bushy areas and stuff and maybe some plant pots that we can use like that I'm kind of wanting to do that I kind of want to do this well, let's have a look keep it in the white and we can have that as kind of like a, a bushy garden area so it's not just all bare and it matches up with there and for this bit you could obviously add that just gives it a little bit of depth and stuff like that we can put some bushes all along there we'll do that later at a later date now we're going to follow the same pattern that we're doing there so we're going to get our two here this would be a two space for where the glass would be that'd be a glass so we can just go all the way along here and we count one two here because that would make the three the same as the other so we fill all that in and then we just do our spaces one two and then fill these all the way up to the top like this let's get that on now we get our glass panes and we put it up to the top like this like this you don't put that there you do not go there you do not go there you naughty piece of pain your pain in the glass right so now for this bit the side bit we could have it bare or something like that but i'm kind of wanting to go something like this where it sticks out so we got one and then we do two like that and we can pull it out one more just like that and what we're going to do is pull this all the way along so we do it to there we do this all the way along like that and then we just obviously following the same pattern where we're doubling this up just like that come on come on blacks don't be so naughty don't be naughty blacks right so now we're going to get this and we're going to get the half slab and move it all the way around and it just gives it a bit of depth for field is it depth of field it just gives your map a little bit of depth and you can bring it out like that so it just it looks a little bit nicer you know so for this bit here what we're going to do we can leave um we can even have a balcony bit here so we could have maybe we could pull out a bit there and there should we say and then we can put this across we'll do this three times so one two all the way long three like that it's just a little extra balcony bit where i don't know you could have like a, a you could have a little bit going along here and then inside you'd have to ramp up and stuff like that to get into it let's see how far it goes over you want it kind of some form of overlip like that you could get this so it's three times and then we get the stairs going all the way around like this all the way round like that which is looking kind of nice kind of smegsy and someone's calling me someone's calling me in the middle of a tutorial now my phone is getting thrown against the wall right so now we get that and this is the the quartz it's the pillar of quartz and we're going to bring this up so it joins here so you just got a little bit of balcony area and i think it's quite nice so inside we're going to have to um we're going to have this matching up to the top so we'll get our normal blocks and put one there one there i'm kind of wanting to keep that lip so we're going to get some quartz stairs 
just so it makes it look nicer inside as well because you, you can't always work on the outside so we're gonna get something like this this will be running all the way along here and then you can decide where you want your door I mean you can you can do something like this so you'd have like two there these would be glass panes so you can actually see outside one two and then you'd have maybe we could do a glass pane for the door as well I mean it depends if you want it as a prosthetic for survival um, you're probably not wanting to do this, but if you're in creative or something like that, you can have like an open plan door, you know, so it's like a sliding door. So we get that going there, that going there, that going there, that going there. Right. So now we can do an upstairs. I mean, we don't have to do an upstairs. I think it looks quite nice like that, but we are going to do an upstairs just because we can, you know. So this is obviously going to be the balcony area. I'm, I'm kind of wanting to... We've put a block here, so it's like a safety block for our rail. So our rail will go all the way around here. it go all the way around the front. And we're going to take it all the way back around here. So we go all the way around. Do, 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 All the way around. And we're going to do the same what we did on the other side, where we're going to have that block as a support. So we get that block on there like that. Which I think it looks quite nice. So we can have this bit. We can have a, a bit coming out, so... We'll say we start here and here. So we get two blocks there. We'll build it up two like that. Now we're going to obviously put this. We're going to have a, a floor. We can put some carpet for the floor and stuff like that. So that goes all the way along there. That going all the way along there. So we're, you know, we're marking out our building. And we put one here and one here. Yeah, that's equal. Yep, that's all coming up. So we build these up too as well. So two like that. We're going to fill this little bit in here. In fact, we can do this with this, the half slab. So inside, it actually looks like uh, the ceiling's different kind of levels and stuff like that. So it's not just a plain level ceiling, you know. So we could have it like that. If you see on the inside, it kind of just it, it looks quite good and makes this look like a support beam. So we can do the half slabs for this as well. We can, um, I, I kind of like to do the, the ceilings, you know, a bit different and stuff like that. So you'll, you'll find that as I do my tutorials. I'm, I'm kind of stepping my game up with my tutorials a bit. Like this is still an easy tutorial compared to what I'm I'm capable of. But, you know, I want to do, you know, some kind of nice tutorials for you guys that you want to build something a bit different, you know, that's from rather than the stuff that's online at the moment. So you look at that. It's just a different ceiling. You've got your light glitches and stuff like that. I just think it looks quite cool. So why are you calling me again? I don't like you. Stop stop calling me. You know, it makes me anxious. <laughs> we'll build this up too. One, two. Seriously, I'm going to smash her head in. And then we'll go all the way across like this. I, won't, I wouldn't really smash her head in. That's just rude. Who does that? Who does that? Right, let's put this all the way across. All the way across like that. Till it meets that end like that. And here. So now we can decide what it looks like you can always keep look at going back to it and stuff like that but i kind of like um we can have a roof that matches that so you could do it in the slab that's going all the way top but i'm kind of gonna i'm gonna do this so we want a, an edge going all the way around like this and we can just keep adding to it so we can have different edges and different lips for each part of our build you know so i'll, I'll show you what i mean as i do it and you'll see it looks quite look makes it look a lot better so we'll right, start here. So here we want it to go all the way along until it meets this edge here. So we want it overlapping by one. So we go all the way across and we join this. We join this one here. So for this now, it's going to have to go one, two, because it's going to overlap there, isn't it? So we'll get that one, two at this side, going all the way along. You, you'll see what I mean. So for this bit, you want it overlapping one, two because that would be the one there and then the two over here. So we'll join this together as well. And what we can do is we can put some different patterns in, so like there. So for here, now it would be overlapping here, wouldn't it? For, at this point, because we're going to be overlapping this little bit here. So like that, like that. So it's overlapping. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. You get the idea. So from here, It'd be from this point, you want it overlapping the roof here, so you start at this block, 
and it should join all the way across to meet this, you know, like that. So it's kind of looking like that. You see, it's it's got a weird kind of roof, but it's something a bit different, I feel. Right, so for these bits, for the first front bit, which we've got the big glass for, this is the front of the building here. We're going to do two little strips like this. We're going to do one strip here. And we're going to do one strip here. Just like that. And now for these bits, we're going to go one here and one here. And then we just count them out. It should, it shouldn't be equal. There we go. So we've got the two one here. And then we've got the two here. Like that. So it's just a weird roof design. Like that. So what we can what we can add to that is we can get our it is the grey wool. So we get the grey wool and we put it in all these individual slots here. Right, we'll get it up here. Fill all these in. Who oh, is popular today? See when you want people to text, they don't text you, do they? You don't do it. So under there it just it's got a nice pattern. We can do the same sort of style pattern for this as well. Wait, we're gonna do this with yeah. So the half slab, half slab, half slab, half slab. So we should have two gaps in the middle, so we we'd have a gap here, gap here. And then we've got the two in the middle. The two in the middle, we can do something a bit different. We could just have the big slab going all the way across like this. And then we can put we can put our half slab on top like that. And then we can overlap it just like that. So it just gives it a little extra, you know, bit to the roof, a bit of detail, rather than just following the same pattern. It's just something to break it up, you know, just give it a bit of a different style so we do that across here we still get using our grey wool all the way across and as the, the tutorials go on I kind of like die out I'm like excited and enthusiastic at the beginning you're know, like oh my god when will this end so you get this all the way across I think that's for that long bit we kind of what we can kind of do is um, we can get we can have like a, a lip for this one so we'd follow this big long one going all the way across here. I'm going to join it up with the other one. So we've kind of got like something a bit different. So we've got this going all the way across here and this is going to be overlapping like that and then we're joining it. So it's kind of like a double edge roof, but we've got the black bits in between at different points. So it's kind of like, I don't know, I just think, think it makes it look a hell of a lot nicer. And you know, when you're outside, it's just got like something different from underneath that pulls away from that white and black and stuff from just having pure white sorry so now we can just follow it all the way around we can cover the whole top like this so we just follow it all the way around right. follow it all the way around for the big roof so we're going over like this so we can keep it on the black because as you can see it will join up with this part of the roof here so we can do something different we can do another layer for the middle part which should look okay we can just put this bit across here just like that we can fill this all in like we can fill all this bit in this bit here we could do something we can keep that there just like that or we can just have like doing you know, lines going across like this just have the lines going on like that and then you know it's just got I just think it looks quite nice so you go like that and then you've got these bits in the roof that indents it looks quite nice so we go like that all the way across yeah, make sure you comment down below if these are nice and clear tutorials because I don't want to like lose you guys and be like, oh, what the hell's going on? You know, so now we'll just fill all this in. So we just fill it all the way across. Yeah, so I'm, I'm starting to do some more better tutorials and bigger tutorials. I'm going to be doing some more redstone and stuff like that for you guys. And, and more games as well. I've got my PS4 coming, so I'm super, oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to be doing some more games as well rather than just Minecraft because... I do enjoy more uh, more games than Minecraft. I'm not just good at Minecraft, I'm good at other games as well. So yeah, I've got Witcher 3, I think Fallout 4, there's, oh, there's so much coming. I can't wait, I've been waiting so long. Right, so now I kind of want a roof where um, we can see through, we want kind of like a skylight roof. So what we can do for this bit, we can go like this, put one there, one there, one there, one there. So we've got the two, no shit. 
sugar lumps, as I meant. <laughs> right, so we can go all the way along like this, and we're just joining these ones on. So we can have a, a little bit of light coming in from the top, because you need a bit of light in your building, so you don't want it just all filled up with glowstone. Fill it all the way across here. We've got to find inside how to do the stairs and stuff like that as well. We've got to figure out, you know, some ways and stuff and something that we can do inside. So like this, now I'm just going to do, I'm going to use the black again. We can use some color actually for the top as well. Maybe even some white. I might try this, the, the white stained clay. Yeah, that might look okay. We can keep it like that. Just something different from the black and obviously we need more light coming through because the black will dull it down just a little bit so we'll put this in for this bit and inside it'll look real nice as well so we've got that we've got the roof edge like that that's looking real nice we're gonna let some light in through here yeah see see what i mean it's got like different you know it just makes the roof so much better and for this bit inside as well we obviously fill the glass in fill all that in so obviously from the outside I've just filled that bit in so it's just level with it let's have a look it's looking kind of nice it's looking kind of smegsy so now this is the front of the building here so now what we want to do is put a line going all the way across with our stairs we're gonna do this all the way across so it's kind of like holding it up kind of thing all the way all the way all the way round all the way around so it joins to the other side like that just give you just giving it more grooves and more definition you know for this bit as well kind of like I feel like I need to put a stair here and then run this going all the way around so this is the the left hand side of the building move this all the way around and we do the same with the stairs so we bring it up to here and we can have it what we can do is have another pillar going in the middle of this so it goes all the way up to the top and then we can just get like one that goes in do you know so it's just i think it looks nicer we can even have this as well because we can extend this and we can put it like that so it joins up with that end so we're just getting a bit more complexity into the build we can do the same for this one but i'm going to leave it i think it looks all right we don't need that there and um, we can have what can we do for this a little bit we can extend it yeah we can extend it and put it like that so it just looks like that i think it's quite nice now what we can do for the outside obviously i'm going to leave it for you guys you can even have a garage here i've made it so you can have a garage here i kind of don't want to do all the inside all the time for you guys because it just takes away from you being able to put your own flare on if in survival and stuff like that if you want a whole wall of you know stuff I think for the inside, for the floor and stuff like that, I would definitely go with the birch wood. The birch wood looks nice. So for a stair, all we're going to do is we're going to pull out six here, which is two away. So if we're facing that way, we count one, two, three, and then these two, and then we take out those. And then what we do is we get a, go like this. In fact, we can pull this all the way up and then we can put our stairs from there, can't we? So we get like that do our stairs going all the way down we've got to figure out maybe some kind of handrail that we can do keep bringing this all the way down and then we can delete the ones at the back doesn't matter so much like that so these at the back what you can do to make your stairs look a bit better you can go underneath like that so you put your upside down stairs under like that and it just i just think it looks a lot better so you delete that those under there we obviously need to do the outside upstairs we can do a block here, right? So we get a half slab at either side like this, and then we can start doing our blocks going down. So block, 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 block. Block going down, all the way down here. So on every other stair, you're just going all the way up. And I think what looks nice is you can get your stained glass again and put it up as your handrails, just like that. Which I think looks quite nice in your buildings. It gives it a nice modern look. Even for this, just for something like, just weird and different, you could have this going on like this. Check this out, right? You just gotta think outside the box all the time like this from your stairway. You could do something like, you could make a swimming pool here, like an indoor swimming pool. You're just always thinking, 
you know like different things that you could do and quirky little things that you could uh, maybe add to it so we'll, we'll put some water in here see what it looks like obviously you'd have to refill all these edges like that so it wouldn't be the same and you've got a nice modern swimming pool i think it looks quite cool that so uh, obviously at the side you could have your let's let's do a little um diving board so we could have it like that i think a good idea for a diving board is you can use some white wool and if you get your string as well this works in survival creative it's just brilliant so you put that on like that you get your string one two get a little diving board put your carpet on like that you've got like a little diving board there do you know what i mean so like that whoa you can make your pool as deep as you want what you could do is you could have where you swim into your swimming pool and you've got like a secret base underneath the swimming pool or something like that so this bit here let's try and find it so obviously you'd have the the birch or you could have some stairs going up your, your floor would be in the birch i'll show you what it looks like i just think the birch looks like a nice modern sort of build floor look at that so you'd have your floor all filled in that which would look nice you can have these at the side in fact you could have let's have a look you'd have your pillar quartz like that and that could go up to the roof here you know that going all the way up here like that and then you can have your one you know half blocks at the top we'll get our half blocks i'll show you what i mean so we've got a half blocks at the top like that and then we can have this brought out you can have the windowsills brought out like this as well so it looks nice on the inside which i think it looks really nice and uh let's see what else we can do obviously on the outside we've got stuff to do i'll let you guys you know have a play around with this send me some pictures on twitter and instagram what you come up with because i really do enjoy seeing what you guys uh, come up with for these builds because uh, you know me i don't like to uh, give you give you it all because then where's the creativity in that you know i kind of want you to have your own creativity as well let's have it like that we can have it open plan up here so we can have this we've got our turning point and then we can go out here we can even let's see we can build this up one but i kind of like it like this without any balconies and just have it like that you can even have just like maybe this going round as just you know the one sort of balcony so it joins up like that i think this look, might, might look quite cool and then obviously you can put your stuff on top of that as well so you can have see glass panes going around here this could just like be joining on there so you'd have your railing going around here so you've got a bit of uh, depth and stuff like that so that go around that would be joining from this side here just like the other side and even if you wanted to you could just put you know a full block in there just so it's coming through just it gives it a bit of depth and stuff like that so on the outside i kind of want to leave this over open plan because it's kind of nice like this isn't it really you could have like a garden up here or something but for those people who don't want to do it i'm gonna um separate up like this so you'd have it like this you'd have your two spots in the middle like that so it'd be kind of no it'd be two two like that sorry so it'd be one two two like that and then you can obviously get your panes going up here going down into here right now for this bit we can join it up and we can have the glass that's the only thing about the glass like here which i th still think it looks all right actually we can have it like that we can have it going to the, like that and we've got a, like a two gap here so it just makes it look a bit different from the other side see i don't like doing everything all symmetric because when you don't do it symmetric all the time it i think i find it looks a hell of a lot better so we can have this which would make the balcony do you know like i'll join on instead of just having the ones where the things are so like that which i think looks kind of nice we can even delete these bits you don't even have to have these bits you know you could just have that bit there you could have maybe some pots and plants here i'm just giving you like clues and ideas what you can do you could have like you know like little pots going on on here get some little flowers in or something like that look at that that's nice isn't it right now for this bit let's have a look we can even get some nice pillars for that bit and we get 
that there, that there, that there, and then we've got the two door. So put these to the top like this. We can have some lounger chairs outside. We obviously fill these up with the glass. And that glass, you do not go there. One there, one there, one there. Look at that. It's looking really nice, this. So it's kind of like open plan as well. That is looking sweet so far. What do you think, guys? And uh, yeah, definitely slap that like button if um, you do like these designs and stuff because it really, really does help me out. It really does. Um, and sh just sharing it with your friends or, yeah, especially sharing it on my social media. Each week, I'm going to do like a shout out for people. So we do a stare there. I'll do a shout out for everybody who, you know, actually takes the time to do my tutorials and stuff. Who really likes them and, you know, like I can give something back to you. We can get the spruce doors. Which kind of looks nice, kind of looks nice. You can even use some birch doors. I think the birch doors looks just as nice. I'll just give you, you guys some little ideas and inspiration. What you prefer and what you like. Because that's what it's about. It's not about just what I like. I kind of want to make it so you guys like it also, you know. So let's have a look. Right, so now we can have some different plant pots. We can have some... Let's say we'll use... I kind of like the clear because it looks better. But you can always use different. Let's get some yellow there. And this is where the bushes come in and stuff like that. And we can have like, you know, like some designs coming up. So let's have a look. See, yellow looks really nice. So the front there, we could have a three one here, which is just the one bush, maybe like that. That is looking really sweet. It's really sweet. So obviously for here, as I said before, you've got the bush, you're going all the way around. Like this, you've got all the bush. I'll just step away so you guys can actually see. It just gives it, you know, a bit of life into the build. You can have some, as you know, you can use your, your anvil from the outside. You can have like a bush going up like that. So it's something just a bit different. You can still walk around there, can't you? We want to leave that open so you can still walk around. Uh, let's have a look inside. So could have two here. You could have an anvil there and that going up. Just a little grand entrance you can have your let's see hmm what color we can have it in an orange even an orange so like say two deck chairs here and we obviously need the orange sand slab one two one two look at that it's beautiful and we can have like a little outside table and stuff like that that we can use i kind of like the brick slab that's kind of nice it's just something a bit different just something a bit quirky you know Right, so for the outside, let's see. Let's see what else we can do. We can have one here as well with the anvil. Just a little tiny one as you come in. We can have a little driveway. We can have... Let's see what the cobblestone looks like. The cobblestone going across there. We could even have it where it's just up like that, do you know what I mean? Supporting it. But I don't, I'm not too keen on the cobblestone. But you can have... Um, let's see have this going across like that and you can have your your path and your entrance so someone had have to come in through here you could do this outside in a different color this is for the gardens and stuff like that so you'd obviously have something different i kind of like if you get the stone the cobblestone and the ansite and stuff like that and you kind of mix them together i just think it looks like a really nice path like a nice path idea and it just, yeah, I think it goes together quite well because it's got like a good co color contrast. Let's see, let's get some more insight. Like, look at that for a path. I mean, you could have this coming round. You can have gardens going all the way around. You can have hedges, some stuff like that. But I'm going to leave it like that, guys. So, yeah, make sure you slap that like button, subscribe. It really does help me out. And I, I really hope you enjoyed this new modern house. So, catch you later, guys. Peace.